I just moved in with my two brothers to be closer to my new university. I can't believe I'm even saying this. Before, I never allowed myself to even contemplate the idea of moving out. Since my brothers both left at 18, I've always had this feeling that I was the one who needed to stay with my parents and my sister to take care of them. I gave up on my dream university because it was too far from home and I kind of turned myself into a stay-at-home daughter. Even though I was more than happy with my choices, I recently started to realize that every decision I ever took in my life, I did it to accommodate everyone else around me. I was sacrificing my dreams and my future because of what I thought other people needed me to do. And I realize now that that might be a little bit extreme. Like with everything in life, I just needed to find balance. I was able to open up about it with my family and with their support, I finally applied to the university of my dreams. And we even found a nice middle ground. I'll be here with my brothers four days a week and the rest of the week I'll be home with my parents and my sister. I'm really excited for this. <laughs> By dressing like this, I want my Muslim brothers and sisters to recognize me as one of them. I want to see their smile and hear their salam as I cross paths with them. Before I started covering my hair, I would always be the first one to say salam because my sisters just had no way of knowing I was one of them. I was maybe Muslim in the way I spoke, in the way I walked, in my acts of worship, but certainly not in the way I dressed. I want my submission to Allah to be reflected in my appearance. I'm a Muslim and I want to look like one. When you're about to share a story about someone, it's always good to pause and ask yourself these three questions. Is what I'm about to say actually true? Will it make the person look good? And is it necessary for me to say it? Will it be helpful to anyone? If your answer to any of these three questions is no, just Keep the story to yourself, because when you're all about spreading love and positivity, you only share stories that are true, uplifting and beneficial. It's a beautiful day in Paris and I'm headed to the flea market. I'm definitely not a professional, I just want to have a good time even though I'm secretly hoping to find some treasures. Before I hopped on the bus I had to stop for breakfast at Bohemie. The New York roll was really nice, really indulging. However the matcha, it was really bland. The market I visited was in the 13th arrondissement. It is an annual pop-up so when you're in Paris make sure to first check out this website to know when and where these flea markets are happening. 
also bring some cash and be prepared to carry everything you get. You can shop for vintage clothes, jewelry, books, oil paintings, everything really. And here's everything I got. Um, starting with this tripod for 10 euros, then I got a brooch and this whoopsie daisy bracelet that I both got from a sweet old lady. And I got this for my sister. 6 euros a bit much, given that the wand is broken, but like I wasn't going to negotiate with a child. So yeah, I had a great time. I definitely don't regret going. I'll just go a bit earlier next time.